One stinking complaint, one verified complaint about a dog at a brewery. That is it. Some thoughts tonight on Denver's recent decision to crack down on dogs at breweries. The city health department will start enforcing a rule that bans dogs from breweries outside of specially designated areas outside. Breweries, which widely welcome dogs now, will get warnings at first and fines up to $500. That even applies to breweries that don't serve food. Full disclosure now, I visit Denver's breweries. I have a dog. I love my dog. I don't bring my dog to breweries. I don't care if you bring your dog to breweries. I do have mild allergies to some dogs, but not my dog. My dog's name is Porter, like the beer, and he's the best boy. The city struggled to explain why dogs at breweries are such a pressing health issue made it pretty clear that this was a solution in search of a problem. Previously, Denver health inspectors only came knocking if somebody complained about a dog at a brewery. So we filed an open records request and learned there has only been one founded complaint about a dog in a brewery in the last three years. One dog sitting on a table at Jagged Mountain Brewing. You can understand why they don't want that. There were a few other unsubstantiated complaints, three in all. That's in three years. Some brewery patios are virtual petting zoos for dogs, and there has been one verified issue in three years. So perhaps instead of increased government enforcement, we might just try discretion and courtesy for a year or so. People, don't bring your dog to the patio if it's a jerk. If it's bothering someone or their allergies, just give them space. Give them lots of space. And if you're a Denver health inspector who spots a dog lying at someone's feet outside causing no trouble at all on a patio, what do you say we just let it lie?